A train service was suspended at the downtown Denton Transit Center for hours as first responders rushed to the scene. It was only a drill, but it's this kind of disaster simulation exercise that helps prepare crews for real life emergencies. When seconds matter, experience and training count. This is a drill. Only a drill, but this real world emergency scenario at the downtown Denton Transit Center allows first responders to put their skills to the test. Training helps everything, so as much of this as we can do, then the better we are off in an actual emergency. During Operation Mercury Rising, the city's police and fire department, local hospitals, and other teams were tasked with handling the panic, chaos, and trauma that would follow a hazardous materials release from a rail car. Where they're trying to rapidly evacuate the train, we have several trampling injuries, a lot of trauma with that. Student volunteers from UNT and Texas Women's University played the roles of hurt and frightened victims desperately needing care. I can't see! <laughs> Volunteer Evan Mitt, happy to put on the special effects makeup and do his part. He's pursuing a degree in emergency management. I could actually see like how this actually would all play out like if a disaster actually did happen. Um, it's a good experience to learn everything. The blood and severe injuries may not be real, but these teams have to respond as if lives depend on it. Working together to triage close to 100 patients, fortunately a rare scenario, but it's this kind of training that prepares teams for the real thing. And the city of Denton conducts a full-scale disaster drill like this every year as a way to evaluate and test its response capabilities. It also helps look at ways to improve in order to keep the community safe.